Hey, we've got the new track for uh, British India coming up in just a moment. Have for we got you. the new Super Tramp? <laughs> oh, hi. Well, you mean Spikeadia? No, but we do have somebody who was around in Super Tramp's time. Breakfast? Come and get it. With Peter. G'day. Russell. G'day. Clark. Uh, Peter Russell Clark, of course, joining us this morning for some food related tomfoolery. Uh, good morning. How are you doing, sir? Particularly well. I suppose I should say good day, but we've said it a few times already, <laughs> haven't we? Now, um, I didn't realise that you were such an award winner. In uh, 1987, you took out a Wilkie Award for uh, the, well, the actual definition of the Wilkie Awards, an award presented by the Anti Football League given to the person who did the least for football in the most interesting way in any given year. I can't remember what I did. I remember that we did... um, We chopped up a football once and made it into a curry in the middle of the MCG. (laughs) That might have been it, Peter, just sort of guess. And we made bras for a young girl cutting a a football in half, but she wouldn't uh, pop her things into the... Football, oh, which was a bit of a shame. Bit of a the, so you had, a, you had a pair of pointy Sharon bra bits. Exactly right. Mm. Another time we threw a, uh, uh, a football which was encased in a coffin into the Albert Park Lake and the council wanted to arrest us. <laughs> We've done a, a few things It's like a pity that. you can't remember the interesting things you did to win the award. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> now, uh, Peter, are you getting excited about the imminent arrival of Gordon Ramsay as well? Are you two celebrity chefs planning on getting together at all? Oh, <laughs> I, I think he must be a pretty uh, nice sort of fellow and, you know, runs around saying and shouting at people, so I suppose that's got to be good. I don't know that I've seen anything that he's done spectacularly clever in the kitchen, though I suppose he must. But I tend to think that all the celebrity... Chefs tend to want to talk rather than cook. All right. Well, Did you do much shouting in your kitchen? Uh, yes. <laughs> I think you've got to. I think a lot of people seem to think that uh, that cooking's really just fun, but it it actually is uh, a very intricate manoeuvre of timing. It's no good having the f***ing potatoes ready and the chops half cooked. Exactly. You said it, Speaking Mr. of Russell which, Clark. Peter Russell Clark, are you going to talk us through uh, some food I was going today? to do pears. Yeah, I was going to talk about pears. Uh, pears are very good. They've got uh, a lot of potassium, natural sugar, calcium, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B. They're good for obesity, acidosis, skin complaints, eruptions, coitus, coitus, mm. guitar, <laughs> shrunken foreskins, ingrown tarnas, just about any fucking thing you can think of. Pears are very, very good for you, but they're also good if you cut them in half, scoop out the the pip area and fill that up with dried fruit, a bit of ginger and just about anything else you could think of. Push the two halves together, wrap that into a bit of puff pastry, sprinkle the puff pastry with cheese after you've wrapped it up so the pear goes into the puff pastry, you just push the pastry around it, sprinkle some grated cheese on that, shove it in the oven until the whole thing mm. goes golden brown. And personally, I wouldn't eat it myself, but <laughs> I wrote it in a cookbook once and people said it was good O. All righty, well, we, we might take a listen to a couple of tracks. And, mate, afterwards, we're going to do pear soup, which is equally obnoxious. Pear soup? <laughs> My <laughs> goodness. All right, looking forward they to that. want pear soup, for Christ's sake. Robbie, Marit and the Doctor on Triple J. Yes, Peter Russell Clark, the uh, celebrity chef, the biggest celebrity chef of Australia, is uh, in as usual this morning. And we were just talking about, so you wrap, you cut the pear in half, you scoop out the seeds, you put in, what was it, some ginger? Dried fruit. Dried fruit and ginger. Yeah. And then you wrap it in phyllo pastry and cook what it What if the you oven. didn't like dried fruit and ginger? Then you're buggered. No, you're not. All you do is put in some blue cheese. Ah, mm, yum. Yum. Mm. So this, this really, is a it, dessert, isn't it? Well, if you've got the fruit in, it's a dessert. If you put the blue cheese, then you serve that as an entree. Yeah. Yeah. What else are we going to do with pears, Peter? Well, I thought we could make a soup with pear. It's really to make soup, you just mash something up and put water with it. And so if you get some pears, cut them up and uh, use a, um, a one of the brown pears. That's the the uh, Paganin pear. Um, there's a yellow pear, which is uh, really for eating, and the brown pears for cooking. Cut that up. Uh, put it in some water, boil it until it goes sloppy, then put in some uh, maybe some cloves, some cinnamon, some lemon juice and the rind of some lemon uh, and uh, some black pepper and also sugar. Whack some sugar in that, boil the whole thing up, then put it through a blender and you'll get 
a relatively good soup. <laughs> but what, uh, is this an entree but, for a... No, this is main... This is but just before your entree. Or mm. you, know, you can do it after the entree. I think you, this would come under the uh, vein. We haven't finished the recipe yet. Oh, oh, yeah, listen. That's the trouble with you buzz in Sydney. I've never liked Sydney people terribly when it comes down to the point. See, what the deal is, now you put blue cheese in it, gorgonzola if you've got any. So you've got your soup, your hot soup, and then just before you serve it, sprinkle some or crumble some gorgonzola over that, and it actually is spectacular. That's the cheese soup's not too good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we were talking. No, before, it's all lovely, Peter. We were talking before about Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Have you ever had any stouches with other Australian celebrity chefs? No, I haven't. I don't mix with them much. Most of them are wanking poofters. I, I, uh, there's a bloke called Adam that's up in Romsey. He's a mate of mine. He's all right. <laughs> so you don't um, have a, you don't have an arch nemesis. No, I, f- I found poor old Bernard King fell off a roof, which was a bit of a shame, and. Uh, uh, he kept wanting to kiss you, and uh, that sort of didn't go down too well. Who else was there? <laughs> what about um, Huey? Oh, yeah, he's, uh, Huey's a good bloke. I, I, qu- I quite like him, actually. He's about my only mate that's in the cooking world. But Huey's a bit ponderous at times. He believes that it's all really serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad that you don't take it too seriously. Peter Russell Clark. I do, t- I do, t- I take this show seriously, for Christ's sake. We my f***ing f- oath I do. Don't you try and sack me <laughs> just because I'm not interested. No, no. <laughs> it was brilliant. <laughs> all right, next week I'll do something better. You didn't like the no, pear soup. Why didn't you just say you didn't like the pear soup? Excuse me, Peter. For f- sake, just say I don't like pear soup and I would have changed the bloody thing. <laughs> it's, it's a winter warmer. It was amazing. Cloves, a cinnamon. winter warmer. Christ, the you blokes are wankers. Winter warmer, that sounds like front page of the Herald. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you'll never be far from my front page, Peter Russell Clark. Thank you God so much. God bless sir. you all. See you, mate. Thanks, Peter. Robbie, Murray and the Doctor on Triple J. Getting attention.